and welcome to Cheeky Richo Cooking's Tea Fill Cook For Me Beef and Vegetable Soup. This is hearty, rich, healthy, freezable, delicious and an easy make head meal. The ingredients are in the recipe box below. So let's get started. To our Tea Fill Cook For Me we're going to add our beef. Now I have taken the bones out of some blade steak or Y bone and cut all of the fat of it and cut it into cubes about yay big and we're going to just fry them off. So we're going to put our Tea Fill Cook For Me onto manual setting and then onto the browning setting. Once that is heated up we're going to add our oil, add our meat, brown it off that'll impart a lot of delicious flavours as well. We've got some homemade beef stock here that I have just reheated so that it's quite liquid and it'll speed the cooking process. We've got a myriad of vegetables, we've got leek, carrot, celery, garlic, sweet potato, potato, beans, pumpkin, zucchini, onions and tomatoes. You can add any vegetables that you like, sweet, turnip and we tend to stay away from cauliflower, broccoli and cabbage or even Brussels sprouts in a slow cooker recipe because they tend to have a very strong sulfury sort of smell and I prefer to have those vegetables actually just cooked rather than really cooked quite well. We're also using a soup mix which has got lentils, split peas, yellow and green variety, it's got barley, it'll give this lots and lots of bulk and fibre and it's good for you too. So they're going in as well. These traditionally need to be either soaked or cooked for quite a long time but you'll find the tea for cook for me will do a wonderful job of of rehydrating those beautifully. So once we've hit the right temperature it's in with a good glug of oil. We're using olive oil, you can use any oil that you like. Now I'm going to pop these bones in and brown them as well. There is lots and lots of flavour in that marrow and whatnot. Once this is already cooked, I've already taken all of the meat off it as you can see, we just pull those out and discard them. They will have done their job then. Okay we've come to temperature now, we're just going to pop our meat in, you'll hear it sizzling and we're going to give it a good stir around and brown right off. About five minutes or so on the browning function. Okay, we give this a good stir around. You can see it's getting some nice colour on there now. And then we start sending in our vegetables. All except for the green onion and the green beans. They're going in the very last so that they don't lose all of their colour. We're also including the celery stalk and leaves. So we're sending in a teaspoon of veggie salt, a teaspoon of freshly cracked pepper, and all of our vegetables. Our celery goes in now. Our potato just peeled and diced. Onion just sliced. Zucchini or courgette, our leeks which have been washed and sliced, quite chunky, our sweet potato or kumara, and our carrots. And give that a good stir around. Our mixed dried soup vegetables, in she goes. Not dry anymore. Now you could use any meat that you like. We happen to be using beef at the moment because we haven't been making many beef recipes lately and we thought we'd share that with you. Okay, now we're going to brown that for about 10 or so minutes. Now we're just going to top and tail our beans and just chop them into short length. Now they're not going to be actually cooked because they'll just disappear. They're going to be added last minute for a bit of colour and crunch with our parsley and spring onions and fresh tomato. Stir this occasionally. Pop our spring onions in with our beans that we have reserved for adding at a later time. Now you could use tin tomatoes if you like, but these are lovely fresh sweet tomatoes. And I'm going to add them just like that. I'm not going to peel them. You could do that, but once it's cooked in the stock, there's already plenty of fibre in all those vegetables. You're going to have to chew it anyway. <laughs> now I like a thick pureed creamy soup as much as the next fella, but this is a different thing. This is a farmhouse vegetable style. We're just going to send in our beef stock now and that's going to provide enough fluid with the moisture that is released from those vegetables to actually rehydrate those dried mixed soup vegetables and also amalgamate to make some pretty fantastic flavours there. Okay, now we're just going to cook that for 20 minutes. We've got to quick cooking function and it'll automatically come to 10 minutes but we're going to give it 20 minutes and immediate start. See you in 20 minutes. Okay 20 minutes later it's released all the steam and there it is. It's a bit foggy but it's okay. All right now good we've got here we'll fish out these little bones now they've done their job. Drag them out. Extra meat should just fall off that bone when it's a bit cooler. Another one in here somewhere. There it is. Pull that excess meat off there. It comes off quite easily. Move that as well. Okay now all of our barley and mixed vegetables have done their job. We're going to throw in our tomato, spring onions and fresh beans and this is just going to give it a bit of extra colour, crunch and added flavour along with our parsley. Now how good does that look? Now this will keep hot for hours if you want it to. So you could put it on before you go out for the day and when you come home that's what you come home to. How good, simple, easy, delicious, handy.
and hardy does that look that's going to stick to your ribs and that's going to keep you going all day and help beat off those winter chills thanks for watching and check that out you couldn't get those bones cleaner if you chucked them on an ant bed cowboy style okay just serve this into a pretty serving plate that is a one pot meal in one bowl check that out yummity yum 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 thanks for watching chicky richos a beef and vegetable soup cooked in the tea for cook for me another delicious one pot winter meal have a little taste shall we <laughs> the texture from those beans, the flavour of that fresh parsley, you put a little bit of lemon rind in here if you like as well, make it really nice. Use whatever vegetables you have lurking in your crisper. I've become a bit of a crisper whisperer lately and I grab everything that I can and I throw it in all of my stews and casseroles and the flavour is amazing, especially if you add a couple of fresh elements at the very end. That's my best tip I could possibly give you to freshen up and liven up. Something that can be a little bit stodgy in winter. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Anyway, you talk amongst yourselves because I've got some serious eating to do. <laughs> Thanks for watching.